Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is another episode of my series of tents and today I will be sharing with you the 10 tips that can make your online business selling more effective. So the last episode that I did is about my 10 income streams and I'm super duper overwhelmed and happy sa dami ng good feedbacks that I got from you guys. I got a lot of DMs, messages, and comments about how it inspired you guys, how it was super helpful. Nakakatuwa because wala nga siyang dislike until now. Sobra naman ako natuwa that ka-inspire sa madaming tao yung video na yun. That's why I thought of doing another video that is connected to that because Parang pinaka common na natanggap kong message or feedback from that video is that gusto nang mag online selling or mag isep ng mabibenta online. Because yun naman kasi yung pinaka madaling ma achieve as starters. Kasi diba na banggit ko nga dun, even nung empleyado pa lang ako, yun din yung talagang second source of income ko always. Because it's super easy, especially in this day and age, na everything is online already. Kaya, I thought of giving you tips based on my personal experience of how all of my online businesses worked out for me. Baka makahelp din sa inyo if you guys are already starting your online business or nagbabalak pa lang mag-start. Baka itong 10 tips na machika ko sa inyo will also be helpful for you. Also, since sobrang dami din nagtanong sa akin how I manage doing a lot of things, sabi ng iba, parang natamaran daw sila sa sarili nila. <laughs> Because isa lang yung trabaho nila pero naubos pa rin yung time nila. Marami naman kasing mga certain hacks or mga tools online that you can use to be able to manage your time and business well. Which, by the way, I would like to thank Kaujao for sponsoring this video. Isa sila sa recent discovery ko that I would like to share with you guys. Kaujao is perfect for online sellers like me or you na nagpaplano pa lang na mag-start ng online business. It is a social media marketing tool that you can use to boost your sales by having mga automated replies, mga ad targeting tools, and so much more that you can use and maximize your business sa Facebook and sa Instagram. Meron siyang chatbot that you can set up para kahit tulog ka or nasa bakasyon ka, may mga sumasagot sa increase sa business page mo. O diba? Don't you like that? Anyway, mamaya ko na lang siya i-discuss in details while we go through with this video. Let me start with my first tip and that is to really brainstorm. If you are planning to start pa lang your business, you have to really think what you like. What is your passion? Diba sabi ko sa inyo dun sa previous video ko, itong side hustle na to should be something that you really love. Kung ano yung hilig mo, para ito yung gagawin mo because you're happy, not just because kailangan mong kumita ng pera. Because mabuburn out ka if you have two things, three things na lahat nakaka burn out. If you have your real job as an employee, which is sobrang dreadful for you na ah, papasok na naman ako, pero kailangan ko pumasok kasi marami akong bills. Kung ganun na yung job para sa yo, hindi pwedeng ganun yung side hustle online business mo. Imagine if nag enjoy ka, tapos kumikita ka ng pera, isn't it the best? That's why hindi pwedeng magbebenta ka dahil uso yan or dahil yan yung madali. Hindi mag-work yan, guys. It has to be some Something you really love and healing mo talaga para you will do it smoothly and also think about your budget as well kung gaano kalaki yung kaya mong ilabas for this business you also have to think if kaya mo ba siya alone or you have to have business partners with your friends your siblings ganyan kasi to be honest kung may choice ako gusto ko ako lang lagi so halos lahat ng mga naging business ko ako lang talaga kahit mga kapatid ko minsan ayoko kasi maraming issues na pwedeng masira pa yung relationship niyon pero may mga certain businesses na magandang kasama sila Kaya talagang dapat pinag-iisipan. Number two, you have to think, ano yung vision ng brand? Halimbawa, gusto mo yung brand mo is eco-friendly. Nowadays, mas marami ng mga consumers ang nag-support sa mga eco-friendly because a lot of people are finally realizing that Mama Earth needs some love. Kami sa Hale, ang vision namin is to help more dogs in need, mga stray dogs. Kaya, every sales that we get, meron kaming sinaset aside for our Helping Hands Fund. Kaya, syempre, yung mga dog lovers, kung nahanap sila ng workout wear, sa amin na lang sila bibili kasi gusto nila yung vision namin. Mga women empowerment, yan, mga ganyan. So, isipin mo lang anong gusto mong isipin ng tao pag nakikita yung brand mo. Number Number three is branding. Very important din ito because ang mga tao ngayon ay very visual na. You have to really plan yung logo mo, pangalan ng brand mo, even yung pictures mo, yung mga filters mo, kung colorful or loud or like 
pastel na soft hue. So, we ended up with a pastel soft hue. So, dapat ganun lahat yung magiging itsura para mas masarap tingnan ng mga consumers. Nakala ng iba, wala lang yun. But I feel like it's really vital for an online business to have that particular branding. Even yung pag-take pictures namin, nagsettle kami na walang muka para nakafocus lang dun sa mga damit. It's consistent na ganun lagi. Part yun ng branding. And I feel like that's super duper important as well when you're planning your business. Number four, you have to source properly. Do not settle ng basta-basta dahil lang ayan na yung una mo nakita, yan na yun. Or ito yung malapit bilhan, yan na yun. You have to really source out. Kunwari, food ang business na gagawin mo. Yung unang puhunan mo, binili mo sa grocery store na malapit sa bahay mo kasi hindi ka na nag-source. Kasi madali lang naman eh. Bibili ka lang, ito lang, mura lang naman to. What if someday lumaki yung business mo, dun mo ma-feel na shocks ang mahal pala dito. Mas makakatipid pala ako kung mukha ka ng supplier dito. Ganyan. Kailangan, una pa lang, mag-source ka ng mabuti ng supplier mo kung saan mas maganda yung quality ng products, kung saan mas mura. Tapos, you also have to build a relationship with your supplier kasi mas maganda kung suki mo na yon. So, sa simula pa lang, mag-source ka na. Hindi pwedeng basta-basta lang para makapagsimula lang. Kagaya namin, yung material tsaka yung fit ng active wear. Very important sa amin personally. So, for sure, yung mga consumers namin, ganun din ang hanap. So talaga nag-source kami, bumili kami ng mga samples sa iba-ibang suppliers. Kailangan talaga mag-source kayo mabuti. If mapapansin niyo yung mga sikat na brands pag nagpo-post sila, halimbawa yung mga Sunnies, talagang sobrang daming pinagdadaanan ng pag-source nila. At the end of the day, just really have to think na ito na ba yung the best na mahanap mo for you and for your consumers. Number five, you have to choose a platform. Ito, napaka-important din ito kasi nga, ang dami ng ganap online. So do you wanna sell sa Instagram? sa Facebook Marketplace, sa TikTok, yan. Hindi kasi pwedeng sabay-sabay mo silang lagyan kasi mapapagod ka. Lalo kung side hustle mo lang to. Lahat yun kailangan mong postan, tignan palagi kung may nag-inquire, ba? Diba? So, planuhin nyo muna which platform you want to start. Isa lang muna. Gagaya kami, Instagram lang muna. And then, after one year, naglagay na rin kami sa Shopee. Tansyahin nyo kung saan kayo pinaka-efficient. Kung ano bang mas ginagamit mo? Facebook? Instagram? Mas alam mo yung features. Salimbawa kami, wala namang magunong mag-TikTok sa amin. So, kami makakapagbenta doon, di ba? Pero kung magaling ka sa TikTok, then go magbenta ka sa TikTok para at least, sabi ko nga, dapat nag enjoy ka. nag enjoy ka pa rin sa pagpo-post ng mga binibenta mo. Number six is also connected to number five, di ba? Sabi ko, choose a platform, isa lang muna. Kagaya namin, after one year, nagkaroon na kami ng Shopee, nag-Facebook page. So, medyo humihirap na siya because ang dami na kailangan buksan ng mga platform. But, hindi naman pwedeng forever na lang kami sa Instagram. We also have to expand. That's why I'm super thankful to find out about Kaujao. Ito na sabi ko na may mga certain tools that can help you maximize your time, your budget, and boost your sales. So, itong Kaujao nga, as mentioned earlier, it's really amazing pag may online selling business ka sa Facebook tsaka sa Instagram. Especially if part-time lang and you have like other things on the side, may trabaho ka, like ako, I have young living business. Ang dami kong kinakausap ng mga members every single day. Tapos, I am creating content. Ayan, papano kung nag-e-edit ako buong araw? Hindi ko na ma-check yung mga increase. I'm glad I have partners. But what if hindi rin sila available? Mga busy girls din sila, ba? Diba? Ako, personally, as a consumer, ayoko nang matagal mag-reply. Kasi habang matagal mag-reply, naghahanap na ako ng ibang mga brand na pwedeng mapagbilhan. Kasi mababa yung EQ ko. Gusto ko mabilis na. <laughs> Super helpful tong Kaujao because I can just set up a Kaujao account para ma-manage yung increase in time. First thing, I can create a website sa Kaujao for my products. So, di ba, ang bongga kung may sarili kang website, halimbawa, ipopromote mo. Pwede mo ipromote yung website ng brand mo. And then, number two, I can create automated replies sa mga chats and even sa mga comments and mga reacts. Pwede kang mag-create ng reply sa mga nagpuso, sa mga nag-like, sa mga nag-angry. Mga ganun, di ba? So, nakakatawa kasi kahit anong ginagawa mo, kapag may mga nag-react lang, nag-comment, or even nag-i-inquire, meron agad mag reply sa kanila. Tapos, if rakitera ka talaga, you can have multiple online business accounts using one kauja ako lang. Isa lang ang platform na pupuntahan mo, makikita mo na lahat ng mga replies, mga increase, mga orders, nandun na lahat. So, sobrang bet na bet ko talaga. Kasi, imbes na maubos yung mga time ko, sa so pag-reply sa paulit-ulit 
na increase. Kasi usually naman ang mga increase dyan, HM, what's available, mode of payment. Sometimes nga nakakainis kasi dahil nga basic kaming partners ko lahat, nilalagay na namin yung price pag nag-post kami. Pero kahit nandun na yung price, may mga mag-reply pag yun ng HM. Eh! <laughs> Diba? So, syempre, customers always right. So, kailangan mo pa yung mag-reply. Lalo na kung may bagong launch kami or may sale, dyan maraming nag inquire eh. Ang dami na nasasayang na time para mag-reply kahit na andun naman na. So, doon ako pinaka natuwa kasi yung mga ganun, pwedeng i-set up ko na lang na kapag may nagtatanong ng HM or what's available, may automated reply na. Sobrang life-changing talaga niya. Minsan kasi na frustrate na kami, na paulit-ulit na yung tanong or nakapost na, tinatanong pa din. Ewan ko, I'm sure nakaka-relate kayo kung may mga online business kayo. Anyway, let me show you how it works. Okay, so you just go to kaojow.com and if you are new, then you just click get started. Ako, nasimulan ko nang i-set up. So I will just log in. And as you can see, I have set up already all of the pages na ako yung nag-admin. So, itong dalawang, Skin International and yung sa dad ko na food business, nandiyan na sila, although hindi sila active ngayon, but they're not yet closed. Someday, it would be so easy for me pag open na rin sila ng dalawa. Anyway, for now, this is my main online business, which is the Hale Active. And as you can see, link na siya sa Instagram ng Hale, sa Facebook ng Hale, and sa Messenger. So, lahat ng mga mag inquire sa Instagram and sa Facebook, Mag-replyan na sila kaagad. Nakaw na chatbot. It's so cool. Anyway, medyo na set up ko na siya. But let me just quickly show you how it works. At yung very first step, you just have to put your logo. And then you just connect your Facebook page and your Instagram page. Tapos you put your store name here and the online store link. Just be careful sa so, link that you're very sure kasi once nyo lang ito pwedeng lagyan. Hindi na siya napapalitan. So, be sure about that. And then, you just put here in the description what you want people to see sa website nyo about the brand. And as you go down, you can add more info if you have like a phone number, your contact info, and all that. Website, ako nilay ko dito yung aming Shopee website. This part, this is the payment instructions. Iset up mo lang dyan na nakalagay, kindly send us proof of payment. Tapos, inattach ko yung aming mga mode of payment. Here, you can choose if transfer nila dun sa mga bank accounts na pinost mo or enable COD payment. For shipping, ikaw din ang mag-set up. Kung ano man ang courier na gamit mo, then dun mo ibibase tong mga to. And then you're just gonna put all of the details here depending on the courier that you're using. If free shipping ka, then just put free for all orders. It's as simple as that. Na-set up mo na yung shop, then you set up the online store. So as you can see, isa lang yung available na theme because this is the free basic plan. But if you upgrade, marami pang mga themes na available for your website. So your website is gonna look like this one. Ah, diba? Ang bongga, may pang website na. I'm not yet done but I already put a couple of our products in here. So dito lang new item and then you put the photo, the price, the description, if may item code, the color option, sizes, ganyan. And then you will see it like this. So yan yung lalabas sa website eventually. Now, if you upgrade to a business package, there's so much more things you can add. And then here is the auto replies na. Inbox setup. Yan, yung opening hours mo. Can choose and specify the time and then you can put your customized uh, away message here in this part ito na yung reply button on messenger and instagram so, ito yung sinasabi ko na sobrang happy ko halimbawa yan unang una ko nilagay how much o oh, diba sa response message either you can type your price list here or ako I just chose to attach our price list na photo. Was another one size chart available. So yan yung mga keywords na madalas tinatanong nga sa Hill. And then you just save, oh, diba? It's super cool. And then here, you can also add a welcome message and quick reply buttons. You can also add photos. Like halimbawa, you have a best-selling product. Pwede nyo na agad ibungad na isend sa kanila para budol agad. <laughs> you can see sobrang dami pang options that you can add. Ilalagay mo lang lahat dyan. Keyword replies, you just add here all of the keywords. Put as much keywords as you can dito. Halimbawa yung how much, available. 
payment. Yan. Basta ilagay mo lang yung mga common na nakikita mo tinatanong ng mga consumers mo. Pag nakita na ni system anything sa mga keywords, then yun, ito yung magiging response. You can see, ito yung mga posts namin sa Instagram. So, pwedeng pwede mo na silang i-manage using the Kauja account without going to the app of Instagram. Nandito na lahat. Isa pa sa favorite feature ko ng Kauja is the page monitoring ng Facebook ads. Kasi here, you can actually check the ads of all of your competitor brands. So, kita nyo naman, na-stock ko na sila. Chinect ko lang kung ano yung mga ads nila. So, you can also get inspiration kung ano yung mga posts nila, ganyan. You can also check the last time that they post kung ano yung mga bago nilang products and all that. So, diba? Super cool. So, that's how it works. Medyo matrabaho lang yung pag-setup, but if bibigyan mo lang ng oras yung pag-setup niya ng one time, upuan mo lang siya, set up everything, and make sure na nakalagay na lahat ng gusto mong ilagay. And then you will never have to do it ever again. <laughs> so, imagine how much time you can save pag naset up mo na properly yung Kauja account that you don't have to reply to every single inquiry na paulit-ulit lang naman. <laughs> Mas madami ka nang magiging free time, for example, to really take care of your kids. Hindi yung palagi kang nakabantay sa phone mo kasi marami nag inquire Tapos, nagiging unattended na yung mga anak mo. Or, kagaya kami ni Kay, kakagayin lang namin ng Baguio. So, habang andun kami, kailangan nag-reply pa rin siya. You can actually go on vacation or go on... A day off without having to think about your online business and hindi compromise yung mga customers mo na atatters, di ba? If sobrang racketera ka, then you can have more and more time for more and more rackets because naset aside mo na yung certain task na yan na kailangan lagi mong binibigyan ng oras and ginagawa. Sana na-explain kong mabuti. If you guys want to try it for your business as well, then meron silang free trial period until the end of this year. So meron pa tayong one month to maximize the free trial bago tayo mag-upgrade sa business account na may bayad na. Itryan nyo if it's gonna work for you as well. Imbes na magbayad ka ng admin or ng secretary to do that job for you, then you can just get a monthly subscription depende sa budget mo and your online business is all good. So I will put all of the details that you would need to know about Kaujao in the description box down below as well as their contact center para kung may questions pa kayo or may inquiries kayo, dun yun na diretso itanong kasi sila yung mas makakasagot sa inyo. So G nyo na yung free trial period for your business, especially ngayon magde-December. Marami ng mga nagka-Christmas shopping so we would really need all the help that we could get. So thank you so much Kaujao for giving us free trial period sakto for the December Christmas rush. So moving on to my Seventh tip is your photos and videos. You really have to have high quality na photos and videos kung TikTok man yan. You have to learn how to make it visually appealing. So yung pinakamaganda example, if nagbebenta ka ng plants, pare-pareho lang naman yung mga plants na yan eh. Pero ang mas mabenta is yung aesthetic yung photos. Yung mga picture ng isang Instagram na to, yung naka-display na siya sa bahay, compared dun sa isa na yung mismong dahon lang yung picture. Walang ka dating-dating. Mas nakakabenta yun kasi the people are very very visual. Kanina ko pa sinasabi, di ba? Kailangan talaga, effortan mo yung pagpipicture. Good lighting, not pixelated. So, very important na marunong kang mag-angle-angle. Ang tip ko lang dyan is, huwag kayong magpipicture ng madilim. Always wait for good lighting. Ganyan. Mas maganda yung natural light kesa sa mga ring light pagka mga product shots. Kahit na hindi sobrang ganda ng camera mo, basta good lighting, you will have good photos. It will really step up your game pagdating sa online selling. Promise. <laughs> Number eight is boosting. Sa Facebook at sa Instagram, mayroong mga boosting options. Iset nyo rin yung budget nyo for that because sobrang effective niya, especially if tama yung pag-boost mo. So, ang tip na masasabi ko dito is dapat yung picture na i-boost mo is picture lang. Kung lalagyan nyo ng text, pwedeng maliit lang tsaka konting-konti but kailangan 90% of the ad is a photo. Kasi sasabihin din sa'yo ng Facebook or ng Instagram na it won't be effective if puro text. Kasi mga tao, hindi na nga nagbabasa. So, kailangan visual talaga. Kaya, di ba sabi ko, kailangan maganda rin yung picture. So, make sure na yung gagastusan mo ng ad, ayan yung tipong pag nadaanan ng tao na nag-sponsored post, makukuyo siya, o ano to, tas tsaka niya ikiklik para basahin kung ano yun. Try niya rin to because it's super helpful. Mas lalaki yung market na makukuha nyo na makakakita ng online store nyo. Pwede mag-try muna kayo pa 50 pesos, 50 pesos per day, ganyan. That will really help. Number nine, is contact influencers like me. <laughs> 
sobrang effective kasi talaga yung mga content creators, influencers. Kasi even no umatend ako ng seminar for influencer marketing program, yung mismo mga brands na yung nagsabi na mas gusto na nila to work with influencers rather than mga artista. Ang mga influencers kasi, they will really make an effort to boodle the consumers. Obvious ba? <laughs> so, yun talaga yung trabaho nila and very effective talaga sila. So, if starting ka pa lang and wala ka pang budget, find someone na starting pa lang din because it will boost their morale na parang, ah, oh, shocks me, brand na nag-trust sa akin, binigyan ako ng free. So, dahil ganun yun na-feel nila, they will try their super-duper best to promote that product para mas marami pang makapansin sa kanila. So, win-win situation siya because you help them and at the same time, they will really help your product to be promoted. But, of course, eventually, kapag ka naman lumaki na yung business mo, nagka-budget ka na, you pay naman na the influencer. Hindi pa pwedeng laging libre products because content creation is a job also. It's a really hard job. Pinag-iisipan talaga namin yung mga content. So, imagine if we will only get free products forever, it won't pay our bills. <laughs> Even our internet, so hindi na kami makakapag-upload. If you're starting, then look for starting influencers as well. And then as you grow, then you can find yung mga paid influencers na. Or even sila, na mga tumulong sa'yo na nagsimula, bayaran nyo na sila. And lastly, the most important tip I can give you is you have to promote your own brand. Walk your talk. Paano kung ikaw mismo, hindi mo naman ginagamit, kinakain, or pinopromote yung binibenta mo? How will people believe that you have amazing products? Kunwari ako, we're selling activewear, tapos lagi akong naka-Nike or Adidas. Isipin nila, ba't kaya yung sarili niyang brand niya susuot? I have to be the influencer for my own brand. So ikaw, kahit hindi ka naman influencer, ikaw mismo, you are your walking advertisement. Because if people see that you're using it, you really love your products, and mas madali mo siyang mabibenta. That is all of the tips that I can give you. I hope hope you guys learned something again. I hope ma-appreciate nyo ulit itong video na to. And I really hope and pray that all of your online businesses will be prosperous, especially this coming Christmas season para sa manigong bagong taon. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe and click the bell button para updated kayo on my next videos. Bye!